What up everyone, it's JPE and I'm back with another episode. Today we're gonna upcycle a grill cover into a pair of fire ass pants. In my opinion, the fashion industry been at a standstill right now. Like in terms of innovation, I just wanna be able to bring a new approach into the space, right? So I'm starting this series where I'm gonna be taking a whole bunch of materials that we may overlook and then turn them into high fashion garments. There's so many pros of upcycling. It's really cost efficient. So let's say you're a designer and you have a lot of bills. You live in New York City, of course, like New York City is mad bread. It's like $3,000 to live in a box with a small ass toilet. You could barely put enough food in your fridge to survive for the week, but you somehow manage, right? With that being said, you don't have the funds to get material for your upcoming collection or any new samples. You may be able to upcycle a dress, a skirt, pants, a jacket out of curtains, a towel, bed sheets, anything outdoors in your backyard. And I definitely think that it's really good to challenge yourself to come up with new ideas in that way because you're able to appreciate things that you may overlook. It also helps save natural resources and it helps the environment. There's a lot of hazardous waste and a lot of garments that get thrown out and it has a lot of build up that affects the earth and I just want to be more conscious about my process when I'm designing so this segment is allowing me to have a unique approach to the design process before the rest of the video continues I just want to announce who the winner is of the cash App design challenge raffle so let's get right into it to see who the winner is is the moment we've been waiting for so now I am about to announce the winner for the cash app design challenge that I did I'm OD hype right now OD listen I'm going to be honest with y'all. I just want to say that I'm so thankful that you guys are a part of my journey and that you're believing in me and supporting me in any way possible. Everybody who subscribed, everybody who was a part of the raffle, it's honestly been keeping me going because this week has been really hard. And I'm having a nine to five job right now while balancing my brand, my YouTube. And I do want to sincerely apologize for posting so late because I did have work today and I got home. I wasn't feeling well, but I was like, you know what? I got to. I gotta get it going and I gotta record the video and I gotta announce who's the winner. And shout out to Maya Davis for being my 500th subscriber. I seen your comment below. And I just wanna shout out everybody who subscribes to my channel and who believe in me. And I just wanna show y'all that you could really do this too and whatever you wanna do with your life. You just gotta put in the work and you just have to be consistent and just follow your intuition. And honestly speaking, the journey has been really rough in the past couple years. And I'm finally feeling like I'm finding my purpose and I'm glad that I'm able to share my talent, my perspective and just everything that I'm doing with you all because I believe that all of you have hidden power within you to do what you love and to change your environment or the world around you as well. But going back to the winner, I'm about to announce you right now. Can I get a drum roll please? And the winner is Norhana. Let's get it, let's get it. Congratulations, I'm mad happy. I'm actually about to send you the bread right now and show y'all. And I'm sending the money right now. Guess what, y'all? The winner is from the Philippines, yo. I feel so honored to be able to say that one of my subscribers is from the Philippines. And now we're going global. This is this is big news. So now you about to get hundred dollars and you could do whatever you want with it. Hi guys, I am your channel. I am the lucky winner of the cash up giveaway of Sir Justin P. I just wanna say thank you sir for this um cash up giveaway. Um, And don't worry y'all, that's not the last of the raffles and giveaways that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing so much more throughout the year, but you should definitely subscribe if you haven't to tap in to see if you can win any other things as well. And I'm gonna get right back into this video of me doing an upcycling challenge as well. Drop a comment below and I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. See, the good thing is I can make a pair of pants. I can do a wig jacket. You feel me? Some Met Gala, like Met Gala vibes. Rihanna will pull up to the Met Gala like this. Smelling mad good. See, I'm in a dilemma right now because I like this net part on the pan right here, but there's only a vent in the front. Like it's not double-sided. So that means that it has to be asymmetrical or I have to use it in a different way. And I'm not really feeling that. And then on top of that, I want to use this side as the outside because it's much more harder. And 
I think it'll be really uncomfortable on my skin if I have it like that. So I'm probably gonna use this as the majority of the outside. The easiest and most satisfying part about the cutting process, well the sewing process, is cutting. It's mass soothing. All right, so this is how it looks. I'm gonna make a very flared pair of pants on the bottom and it's gonna have a cocoon shape. I'm gonna adjust it right now. It looked a little crazy. It's all right. You gotta relax, but you feel me? Sometimes I'll take a pattern and then I'll just adjust it the non-traditional way. This is not the way they taught you how to do it, but this is just the way I do it. And that's it. While I'm pinning the front part of the pants, I just wanna talk about the idea of you never know who's watching because I've been sewing for a long time now, probably since like 2018 consistently. And I've been fortunate enough to work with so many creative people because they told me they were watching my work on the gram, but they didn't even follow me. I don't even be watching stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's cool because at the end of the day, it's just for the art. Like if people want to appreciate it from afar, that's, that's good enough for me. But for people who are feeling like whatever concepts or ideas they're putting out, it's not being recognized, yo, don't even pay attention to that. Because the more you fall in love with the process and the more you start to embrace the journey, things just start to flow naturally. And for example, I started working with Bra Alejandro out of nowhere because I was just posting a lot of my designs. And my friend Gigi, she's a stylist, we were supposed to work with each other in the past, like years ago. And every time we kept trying to connect, it just did not work out. And she had recommended me to another stylist named Kate. And they trusted me to design something in 48 hours for a music video. And I was able to pull it off. And they could have asked anybody else. And I, they came to me and then it worked out. And then over time, I've been fortunate enough to continue to work with them. And I say that to say, you just have to design or create from a place of love and people are gonna come to you. I used to always reach out to stylists to work with them when I first started in the industry. And after a while now, people ask me like, yo, how'd you get this opportunity? More so it's just me continuing to just flow, flow, flow over time. And people just start to see that rhythm and they pick up on it. And if it aligns with the work that they're doing, they're gonna hit you up. That's why it's important to market yourself and do what's best for your brand, your brand message and your identity. Because if you're copying somebody else, you just watching somebody else. Yeah, it might look good, but it might not speak to your audience the same way as it would for somebody else. You feel me? So make sure that you're just enjoying what you do. Just tap in, continue tapping into your inner child. I'm a big advocate for just doing the things that make you happy and that take you away from the negative things in life. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So this part, I'm about to use this for the knee or make some pockets out of it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but when you don't sketch, it forces you to tap into different parts of your brain to be more creative. And I've been doing that a lot lately with my design. So we're gonna see how this turns out. And sometimes what I do is I'll write a note to myself on a scrap fabric. So I, when I'm starting to cut or sew the next day, I don't forget what pieces are what. So I put pocket on this and I'm gonna pin it to this part. So the annoying part is, is that because it's a temp a girl cover, I had to like go back and top stitch on top of the style line because it was loose. So if I had sewed this together, the pants could have came apart. So that wouldn't have been good at all. Burn myself. They might have seen her in a minute. I've been keeping to myself and now she feel away. I don't like to spend too much time on my phone throughout the day. Sometimes I be feeling kind of drained, yeah. Maybe I bro, I'm hot right now. See, yo, this. Yo, I'm tight right now, bro. My The needle broke two times and I didn't even get to finish the pants. So I'm hot right now. Yo. Bro, I be showing y'all the raw stuff, man, because, like, it be stuff like this. I just want to throw this on the floor, bro. Yo, I'm tight right now, bro. It's always when you're just about to finish a project, the machine wants to start acting up. But I'm so used to this by now, so I'm like, this is my sign to just take a break and chill because I'm about to start screaming in like two minutes. So it's my sign to pack up. So this is how they look so far. They cool with that, but I just need to see them finish. Sometimes I feel like it's not the best that it could be. And then when I put it together, I'm like, damn. 
This is the pocket that broke the needle two times, yo. That's what happens when you have too much fabric on top of each other. Yeah, I'm mad excited. I'm about to cry. Yo, I'm mad hyped because these were very tedious and last night I was getting frustrated. But the fact that I was able to finish them now is really like an amazing feeling. And I can't wait to do the photo shoot. Yeah, I'm in a dilemma right now. My allergies is killing me. My eyes is mad swollen. Nose running. I get bad allergies because this weather in New York going to switch up. And then I went to the auto show yesterday and I lost my phone and it's at the Javis Center. And I have an important meeting today with a stylist and I have to go to the Javis Center and find my phone. I don't really panic when it comes to like situations like this, but like I really need my phone because I need to communicate with people today and it's urgent. So what I'm gonna do is I have to drive all the way to the Javis Center, go inside and hopefully, hopefully find my phone. And I used to find my iPhone app and it's there. Um, they just haven't returned it to security yet. I don't know, but I'm about to go over there right now. I, uh, I'm in Manhattan right now. I'm about to go inside. I'm not gonna bring my camera inside because I'm not about to be recording while I'm looking for my phone because I need it ASAP. But I'm gonna let y'all know how it goes. And um, yeah, I hope I find it. I know it's there though. Oh, I ain't gonna hold you. This is hard. This is like a. I pulled up in there. They let me through. I went to this specific car. When I look in the car, you're not gonna see a phone. Like I looked in the back seat, I looked on the floor, I looked under the seat, it wasn't there. It was like right in between the door and the bottom of the back seat. And I put my hand there and I found it. They said that they have people search all of the cars multiple times and they are they usually find everything. Yo, they was never finding the phone, yo. And I'm so happy that I took the initiative to go find it myself. And you can't depend on people to do certain things. Not that they don't care, but it's just that the urgency might not be there. You might not think of it, you feel me? So I'm really happy. I got my phone back um, and I have the meeting today. So right now I have to go eat some food and prioritize that. This is what happens sometimes in life, yo. You gotta think quick on your feet and you can't panic sometimes because some people would have started panicking. I just try to keep my composure, you feel me? So I'm happy. And my allergies is acting up still. I'll be hard on myself. I don't know if you could tell, baby. If it shows, let me know. They think they could never find me. I'll be low. Feeling like I'm Franklin C. Baby, I don't play no games. Baby, I. Alright, y'all, that's a wrap for the video. I turned a grill cover into a pair of pants. I upcycled them and they came out so far. Yeah, I challenged myself. And I was so tired when I was working on them. But you know, when you're in a creative flow and you're in that rhythm, you just gotta keep going and going and going. And it came out hard. I just wanted to show you that I could take anything from your environment and turn it into something really cool. And I'd love to hear your perspective on when you guys try it out. And let me know what you think as well. My goal is to push y'all to be the most creative beings that I could be. Even if you're not aspiring to do it for a living, you just want to tap into a different side of yourself or just start thinking of things that put you in a different state of mind throughout the week. And I just want to let y'all know that part where I got upset in the video, it happens all the time and it's okay to get upset. Don't be too hard on yourself and just remember that you're allowed to take a break and move at your own pace. Thank you for watching the channel. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And congrats again to Norhana for winning all the way from the Philippines.